Many people take it for granted that we can schedule a football, baseball, or hockey game whenever we want, or go river rafting, or any number of spontaneous events. But for more than 500,000 people who have kidney disease and need to get dialysis treatments three to four times per week, three to four hours per day, scheduling anything other than the next appointment is next to impossible. When you're in center, you kind of got maybe like a leash or something on you. Like you can, you feel like you can only go so far, then you have to be back because you have to be back for that dialysis. So maybe you go away for a day, but you got to be back for the next day. It's got about another two minutes to go, and it'll be done with that, and then I'll pretty much be ready to hook up. Harvey Wells was exactly that kind of patient. With years of getting his dialysis treatments in a center, and after having a transplant fail. Harvey decided to look for an alternative so he could follow his dream of traveling the country in his RV to watch his favorite football team, the Cleveland Browns. Last year I went to all 16. This year I've all, I just went to the opening one. Now Harvey spends his time driving from state to state to show dialysis patients that they can have a better life and a lot more freedom by doing home hemodialysis in their home or in Harvey's case in an RV for two to three hours a day while multitasking on any number of projects. Yeah, oh, when I first started this, uh, well, actually it was traveling with my grandsons, mm -hmm. and then the second year, um, it, was, uh, it was actually giving demonstrations and stuff, mm -hmm. and from the very first stop that I made, um, I, I was looking into a patient's eyes, and he was looking at me, he says, all I want is my life back. And uh, it struck me, that's really what we all want. We just want our lives back. With the newfound freedom of home dialysis, overall better health and energy can return. Less stress on the heart, lower blood pressure, more flexibility with fluid and food restrictions, and possibly reduction in medicines are some of the many benefits with home dialysis when done with short daily treatments on a regular basis. Doing dialysis almost every day, six days a week, versus doing it three days a week, you're getting double the dialysis. So you're cleaning your blood and removing the waste products on a more regular basis. So your diet and your fluid intake is going to be much more liberal. They're allowed to, um, of course, they still have to monitor what they eat and drink, but not nearly as much as, as an in-center patient because they're going to get another treatment the very next day. A lot of patients don't think they can handle emergencies at home if they come up, but don't realize that with more frequent treatments at home, or even while traveling, since they can take the newest portable machines with them, they will not have the emergencies that patients have when getting fewer treatments in a center or hospital. A lot of patients, uh, when they first go on dialysis, they're afraid of doing it at home because they don't understand it. And they, they also think that all the complications that happen on an in-center unit are going to happen to them at home and nobody's going to be there to help them. But what they don't know is that it's a more mellow, regular type dialysis with fewer side effects and patients are steady and, and, and safe. When you're able to dialyze at your home, you're in your own zone and you're less likely to be depressed. What I really wanted when I first went home was just the ability to do the treatments in my house and be in a familiar surrounding, but what I really found was the health benefits that you got from doing your therapy on a daily basis. But only 3% of the 500,000 Americans on dialysis use home hemodialysis. Home dialysis um, concept hasn't really picked up in the United States as well as it has in other countries. Uh, for instance, in Canada, the home dialysis programs are around 14 to 20 percent. It's a lot higher. Here in the U.S., it's, it's been less than 10 percent. I think the number is around 7 percent right now that are outside of center. So that, that means usually peritoneal dialysis, which is a different thing than hemo, uh, that's using the abdomen to perform dialysate uh, exchanges on a daily basis. Uh, and then even smaller percentage, maybe uh, 3 percent of that, I think, is home dialysis. So the home dialysis is a very small percentage of the total dialysis population. For now, Harvey will keep on traveling from city to city to follow his favorite football team, the Cleveland Browns, see all the nation's great vacation spots, and eat veggie burgers. But he will also make as many stops at dialysis clinics as possible to get the word out that you can do this too. Reporting from Oakland, California, I'm Chris Kiedman for the Wall Street Journal.